Here we have jeans with the crop. F dude, these are, these are out there, yeah, for sure. So I guess he got enough good feedback that they decide to make it a permanent addition to the uh, catalog here. Cause this is what it is, bro. When the pre-workout hits and you go fucking psychedelic on it. What's up guys, Derek, moreplaysmartates.com. Today we're going to be checking out Gymshark, the uh, super uber popular brand, probably, I don't know, one of the first, if not the first, fitness brands to hit a billion dollar valuation and is, uh, I don't know, one of the first companies to really leverage influencer marketing. And it's turned into this colossal um, giant corporation, essentially. And at this point, they have an array of influential athletes and ambassadors on their team, not just limited to fitness industry people, but actual like high tier elite athletes and celebrities and just like random people that don't even fucking work out, to be honest, which is, you know, totally fine. I think, like, Gary Vaynerchuk just joined them the other day, too. Fucking Gary V, dude. Um, so anyways, if you scroll down, notably, there was, uh, this post made the, the, uh, sorry, like, fuck, um, the other day that, like, I shouldn't laugh, to be honest. Um, and people wanted, just fucking sending it to me over DM. <laughs> Wanted to get my stance on it, I guess. Thought it might be video worthy because it's kind of out there. And it's a bold move, dude. Bold move. Like, uh, kudos to them for being uh, ballsy, I guess. Um, they asked, we delivered. At Nathan, used to cut and make his own, but now he wears our first ever men's crop top. Cutting emoji. Actually, scissor emoji, sorry. Swipe to see how you can get that pre-workout feeling every time you lift in the new pre-workout collection. Link in bio to shop now. Fireworks. Taken by the fittest wizard, Alika Bang. Or it's these people in it, presumably. So, um, crop top looks dope. Living for the crop top. Heart eyes times three. More crop tops, bro. So, I guess this guy has a reputation for wearing crop tops. Um, let's see. At Nathan. Nathan McCallum. Wow, good on you, getting that fucking first name and username. Um, okay, so here is the uh, the crop top, presumably. And uh, not presumably, it's a fucking crop top, dude. Uh, let's see, is there any other ones in here? Is this a very common uh, occurrence in his wardrobe? Let's see. Yeah, it appears it is. These are some fucking abstract outfits if I've ever seen one, dude. Damn, what the fuck? So here we have a... Uh, I don't know, this was a college shirt, presumably, and then it was cut into a crop top to improve ventilation during deadlifts or simply to show off the lower ab definition because that is crucial during workouts. Here we have jeans with the crop. Fuck, dude, these are, these are out there, yeah, for sure. So I guess he got enough good feedback that they decide to make it a permanent addition to the uh, catalog here. Because this is what it is, bro. When the pre-workout hits and you go fucking psychedelic on it. Um, so he has some uh, psychedelic uh, looking shorts here. This, uh, the pre-workout hits, uh, not tank, a uh, crop top with the uh, borderline calf high socks for increased perception of calf size mass. And the Converse, a classic outfit. And um, for a sec, I thought this like puddle thing was his shoelace untied. I was about to say, tie your fucking shoe, bro. But I think he indeed did. Um, love, hands up, fucking heart emoji. Crop top's not your thing? That's cool. Check out our full length tees instead to get your get the pre-workout feeling. Fire emoji. Uh, let's see. So I guess they got some uh, pushback, presumably. Send me some for free. Would you consider making some where the bottom of the tee sits just above or around the waistline? I think you're gonna have to reconsider this decision. In my opinion, it's just wrong. Monkey can't even fucking look face. Oops. <laughs> Ecstatic at the same time. The teeth are fire. Why is it wrong? Just because some people hate it doesn't mean we have to take away what others might love slash like. If one doesn't like crop tops, then don't buy it. Obviously, shrugging emoji. You buy it way, lad. Look forward to seeing the pictures. This is a reminder that we will not, <laughs> Jesus, dude. 
This is a reminder, we will not tolerate offensive language or behavior in the comment section. We know the style isn't for everyone, that's okay. But please be respectful to those who feel comfortable and confident in the style or want to give it a try. Gymshark blue heart emoji. We will continue to build our vision of inclusivity and we hope to see hope to see you to stand with us in support of that. So, I don't know, like their inclusivity movement is like so broad spectrum at this point that I know they've gotten some pushback for some of the like, I don't know, actually like almost going out of their way to promote what appeared to be obesity in some context is what I didn't dig into that situation too much because I don't follow them very closely. But I mean, if that was the case, you know, obviously kind of uh, like paradoxical for a fitness brand, I guess. Um, and then this is kind of, uh, I don't know, like, is this simply a marketing move to get some like like polarizing opinions going? Or is it like they actually had this much fucking pent up demand that they thought it was worth bringing out? I love you. I think you're incredible and you're going to do great things in all caps, says Nathan. Um, I guess the ambassador of this movement for the <laughs> paid comment. LOL, wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. Yet all yours are voluntary. Facepalm. I don't need money to spread good vibes. You should try it yourself. Rock on, bitches. If you actually follow the guy, you know he says the same line in his stories. I'd pipe down, mate. Your insecurities are falling out of your pockets. Clapping emoji times two. Fraser Wilson with the engagement. I saw Nathan in this outfit, immediately got it for myself. Just saying, four flames, literally inferno comment. I would look fire in that cropped up, to be honest. Uff, says Leah, relax. <laughs> Everybody gonna be rocking those shorts though. Fire emoji. No doubt, fucking light your shorts on fire, bro. Just bought the shorts, so much flames. Gym sessions are gonna be fire. Fucking fire, bro, so much fucking fire. You ready? You bet, fucking fire. All right, so we get it. It's obviously a pretty fire outfit at this point. And we have uh, this guy doing a uh, flip and then hitting the splits after. Um, this guy looking, uh, he's got the fucking blue steel look. Is that, is, that, <laughs> is that what it is from Zoolander? Blue steel. Makes you wonder if th these guys actually want to wear this shit or if they're just like, this is part of their, like, <laughs> you're on like a monthly retainer as like an athlete. And it's like, all right, <laughs> you're... You happen to be the unlucky motherfucker who's tasked with modeling this shit. Or maybe they just actually like it. You never know. Like, let's see, does this guy actually wear, uh, does he actually wear crop tops? Let's see. Shirtless, 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 normal shirt, normal shirt, normal shirt, normal shirt, shirtless, almost shirtless, but not quite. I'll actually keep my shirt partially on, but still show you my abs. Shirtless, shirtless, shirt, shirt, shirt. I don't see any crops, bro. Where's the crops? Fuck, your entire IG has no crops. This is a small amount of posts for such a big, big account. Jesus, fuck. Weird. 46 posts for 469K. What the fuck? <laughs> like, why'd you wipe out your whole account? Or did you wipe out your whole account? Kind of odd. So anyways, the, uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, oh, I recognize this guy, Obi Vincent. This guy is fucking saucy, bro. Well, I'm not saying he is definitely, I'd have to look through his shit, but I mean, he is uh, a very good physique and um, I've seen him training with uh, Steve Cook and whatnot. Does he wear crop tops as well? Do not seem to, uh, I do not see them. No, seems, uh, seems like normal fucking shit, bro. So does anyone actually like this besides Nathan? That's what I want to know. Um, let's see, boom, hitting a shoulder press in uh, the crop because we definitely want to see your nips guys that is uh the goal here go as high as you can so we almost get a nip slip that is ideal so anyways the crops like what do i think about it in general like i think it's obviously very very out there and to me looks completely ridiculous but i mean i guess some shit that looked ridiculous back in the day didn't look ridiculous years later and then did end up looking ridiculous again like i remember the style when I was in high school, it was like super baggy shit to the point that you're fucking swimming in it, bro. Like we would have baller shorts down to our calves, essentially. And it made it kind of hard when your baller apparel got in the way of you actually playing basketball. <laughs> like I remember going to fucking dribble the ball between my legs and it would like catch in these fucking stupid shorts. So kind of a uh, counterintuitive design back then. And it's kind of the styles have gone in the complete opposite direction to the point now where it's like the shorts are short enough to the point where you would have made fun of your dad 
for wearing shorts that short back when you were wearing the super baggy baller short that he said you look stupid for. <laughs> and at the time, you're like, shut the fuck up, dad. You have no idea what's stylish and what's not. So, you know, is it possible that this comes into style? I guess there's a fucking shot in the dark, maybe, but I would highly doubt it. To me, this is not like aesthetically appealing in any capacity. It's just kind of like a, like it's a, it's a statement, you know? Like, it's just like, look at me. I don't give a fuck. And um, I'm expressing my like creativity or something. I don't know, that's what I perceive. And personally, it seems like at least firsthand impressions from individuals that I know who were sponsored by Gymshark and then moved away from the brand on their own accord or, you know, other individuals who, you know, just have, I don't know, just like longitudinally throughout their progression, they're kind of going in a direction that seems, uh, I don't know, less in line with like what I consider to be like nice gym shit, to be honest. Like some of it's fucking dope for sure. But I mean, like, uh, I don't know, like for me, I can definitely use this as a tangent here to talk about uh, Young LA. I don't think I've ever actually formally introduced it on the channel. Like that's uh, a company that I've actually bought their stuff like as far back as 2018. Like this is a receipt I have from uh, 2018 of June when I bought uh, my first set of tanks and joggers from them. And they probably don't even fucking know that this, this was me back in the day. I'm actually sponsored by them now and I actually talk um, with Gary, the owner quite often. And, um, I used to buy their shit, you know, and I would wear their joggers to the gym. And more recently like at the time, I kind of just like, I liked their, uh, it was like the, uh, the perfect cutoff tank is what it was called. And then I would have, uh, or it was like, it was like a long line tank. And then they would have their, uh, their joggers. That's what I knew them for. And that's basically what the bread and butter was at the time. But more recently they've been expanding their catalog, like very, very significantly. And it got to the point where I was like, I had so many athletes from Gorilla Mind on Young LA. I was like, why the fuck? Like their shit's dope. Why don't I just, and I already <laughs> I spent my own money on it. I was like, why don't I just like hash it up with Gary and like figure out how to, you know, like cross promote, you know? So now we like, yeah, we run analytics b between each other. We give each other like ideas on, you know, like upcoming athletes and just like business ideas and shit. And I happily promote their stuff because it's fucking dope. And at this time, at this point, I pretty much, wear like 75%, maybe like 50 to 75% young LA stuff the majority of the time because they actually have like lifestyle apparel that to me, like this is a, like I think Gymshark's like biggest competition is brands like young LA, which to be honest, I don't see any other brands in the fitness industry that are comparable in all metrics. So when you look at their brand, they're not like just a gym brand. They have like a lot of urban like streetwear and whatnot. And it's like, really fucking dope stuff. So for me, like mainly if you're looking for good tanks, you don't want a crop top. You want something that's actually like covering your fucking belly button. Um, personally, I basically wear these to the gym. These are the scoop bottom rib tanks and they're fucking sick, high quality stuff. And I pretty much have every color at this point. Um, their elemental takes are pretty dope too. The perfect muscle tank is actually the one I bought back in 2018. And at this point I have every color. Well, back then I started with the olive one. I got a few others, but they've expanded their catalog since. And they have, they have a lot of options, dude. And a lot of this stuff ranges is broader than just like gym apparel. And they have streetwear, which is stuff you'd actually wear like out to dinner and whatnot. Like for example, they're bombers. And I hope they restock them soon because they're fucking sick. Um, and this, by the way, the Teddy fleece, I did an Instagram story the other day and people were like, what is that sweater you're wearing? It's like the most comfortable thing I own. The Teddy fleece, it's like, I don't know, 35 bucks with my coupon code as well. The hooded flannel, fucking dope. I wear that out at least like one out of two times. I go out at this point, depending on like how fancy of a thing I'm going to. If it's like just like a casual outing, I'll usually go for like a hooded flannel or something. If it's a bit more formal, I might go for like a, a bomber jacket. And their bomber jackets are fucking sick. And I hope they restock them because I actually have all three of these and they're, uh, they're dope, dude. Super slept on piece of clothing. And um, this is like the style, dude. Like this is the shit now that is actually stylish. Like do not go for crop tops, go for shit like this. Also their shorts, unreal, dude. The perfect shorts, I have one in every color. If I was to recommend any of their shorts in their entire lineup, obviously they have a lot of different options. But for me, the perfect shorts are absurd. I wear them literally all the fucking time. Like I, even if I'm just sitting in this chair right now, I'm literally wearing a gray pair right now. If I go to the gym, I wear a pair. 
pretty much any time I'm wearing shorts, I wear a pair. As well, they're joggers. It makes it pretty easy for knowing which one to get to. I would just get there. Perfect joggers, personally. It's like the exact same material as the perfect shorts. And they're absurdly comfortable, absurdly high quality. It's like baffling what this brand has done trajectory-wise since I bought, just like used to buy their like base joggers in 2018 and just like a couple cutoffs. They're like a such a widely, broadly ranging company at this point that they have pretty much fucking everything you need. Even boxers, dude, beanies, like fucking everything you'd want. And it's dope because being sponsored by this company for me, it's like I don't even need to go shopping anymore, dude. It's sick. So I'd recommend checking out their stuff. You know, I thought this was a good segue because at the end of the day, I do see uh, certain companies that are falling into the kind of like, I don't know, corporate, not like trap, but just like starting to go on a trajectory that's less, I don't know. It just seems like it's not in line with the shit I want or the shit that I would imagine a lot of like-minded people to me want. Whereas Young LA, they just come out with a like banger after banger launch and they wouldn't waste time with shit like crop tops, dude. So anyways, it's not like Gymshark's bad overall. Like they have some dope shit for sure. And, um, but ultimately for me, I think Young LA is like an unparalleled brand right now in the clothing space. And I'm happy to uh, um, be on board and promote their stuff. So anyways, check it out. If you want to check out any of these stuff I mentioned, I would highly recommend perusing through their website. And in general, I guess, let me know. Your thoughts on the uh, crop tops, dude? Am I just way off? Do you think this is gonna, you know, pick up steam? Do you think the uh, out there marketing is, uh, you know, the fucking ROI and the risk to reward is is there when you, you know, do stuff like this? Or I don't know, like, would you wear this? You tell me, dude. You know, how many people in the comments down below would wear this? Who has the balls to be as creative and, uh, you know, out there to wear this is the real question, because presumably you need to be uh you know a pretty uh, secure individual to do this shit and uh wearing this thing just uh is the epitome of embracing your masculinity in my opinion so let me know what you th <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments down below all the comments help the algorithm they're much appreciated like subscribe check out my blog moreplacefornates.com follow me on instagram at moreplacefornates facebook snapchat twitter tiktok apple podcast if you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below, including Young LA. You can use uh, coupon code MPMD to save 15% at checkout on anything on the site at any time. And I think the uh, there's a big Black Friday sale coming soon with a shit ton of new stuff as well. This is the drop with everything that's going to be launching. Um, and they will be having a sick jean jackets dropping in December as well. So look out for that. I'm fucking stoked. They get mine because I have not found a good fitting jean jacket since Nombro. It's been a minute. I actually do not have one right now because I have been so uh, displeased with the way they fit my body type. So here's the hoping. The young LA ones are on point because they look pretty sick so far. And some of the athletes have spoke very highly of them. I'm looking forward to them. So anyways, check that out. If you want to support me, code MPMD. It's much appreciated. Talk to you guys soon.